Hi, how do we handle security in the Neptune DX platform? Let's start with Planet 9, our agnostic component. Planet 9 is a self-contained Node.js server. It supports Linux, OS X, Windows, and also Raspberry Pi. It can run inside a container, Cloud Foundry, Kubernetes, and Docker. And therefore, you can host it on any cloud of your choice, as well as on-premise. The applications built with our platform are not serverless. Our applications require an instance of the server in order to run. However, these applications can run offline on the device. In a new installation, Planet9 will run directly with a SQLite database that you can then configure to use PostgreSQL, SQL database, and other databases as well. You can find information on how to install Planet9 on your environment using the PDF that comes together with the installation file. How to perform load balancing with Planet9. In a production environment, it is recommended that you have multiple front-end servers. But how to consolidate all of them? Run Planet9 behind a proxy, for example, Nginx. With this architectural approach, you'll be able to run as many front-end servers as you like. You can also concentrate all of the logs from the different runtimes using the uh, capabilities within the system. With this, you'll be able to monitor in one single place all of the different runtimes. Here are some architectural slides on how you can run it as a single instance plus a multiple instance. As you can see, on the multiple instance, you have behind it a load balancing slash proxy where it will then balance the workload towards all of your different front-end servers. Our recommendation is that having one single database, you can have uh, one API uh, provider, therefore a Planet9 runtime that will host all of your Planet9 APIs. And if you have the need to have multiple front-end servers, we advise you then to have multiple front-end servers pointing to this API uh, server instance. This will then guarantee you a separation between database, API management, and front-end. How do we manage security on three different levels? Let's start with the users. The users can then be using your own identity provider service. For example, we can use LDAP SAML, we can use Azure AD, we can use JSON Web Tokens, X509 certificates. Going one level down into the device, what kind of features, security features do we uh, provide out of the box. So out of the box, we provide you two-factor authentication with SMS and email. Uh, you can do X509 certificates, and of course you can empower this with a pin code that you decide the length, as well as using face ID or uh, fingerprint ID, so biometrics. You can also use NFC to, uh, for instance, in a warehouse environment where people are wearing gloves, you can use the employee card that you put to the back of the device so that you are automatically authenticated into the environment. This will for sure facilitate the life of your end users. In the end, for additional security, if you're concerned with that, you can use an MDM of your choice, AirWatch, Intune, Mobile Iron, etc. And then going to the server side, when the user opens a launchpad or a dashboard, you'll see multiple applications. Each application can use a variety of APIs. On the API level, you're able to allocate a specific authentication method per API. So we completely anonymize from the user to the mobile device and to the API level. And there means that you can have, you can use bare token, simple authentication, X509 certificates, certificate base, etc. I hope that this short video on security can help you making a more informed decision about how to use Neptune. If you have any questions, please address us. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.